Hello, Kim Wikimania. Welcome from Poland. Uh, the group you see here is a small part of Wikimedia Poland. My name is uh, Łukasz Garczewski. I am the executive director of our chapter. And we're here today to talk to you about uh, what we've been up to over the last almost two years. Uh, we'll present three topics, but uh, they are interconnected. And uh, a sort of task for you is to find the connections and uh, look for them. We'll, we'll uh, try to do a good job to highlight them, but uh, you know, think about how the different things we do all around the world connect with each other. Um, and that's going to be a part of the conversation today. So we're going to talk about how to animate and take good care of our community, uh, mostly based on our experiences with uh, the Polish Wikipedia community. Uh, we are going to talk about how to introduce young people, students, into the Wikimedia movement, how to um, develop within them the passion for sharing and uh, make them really feel the idea that is behind free and open knowledge. And finally, we're going to talk about how to be data driven and actually look very objectively at what we're doing and what the effects are. And the, um, the need from us behind this, uh, these presentations uh, is to inspire you, uh, but also to uh, test our ideas and our concepts in different environments. So you are more than welcome to grab the ideas and test them out within your communities. And the third uh, need we have is to actually edit our ideas. And we welcome edits from everybody uh, who may want to improve how we do things and what, we, uh, what, we come, what we've come up with so far. So all of this, everything you see in this presentation is under a very special li license. I call it Creative Commons. Uh, attribution is welcome, but please try this out and tell us how it goes. Uh, and uh, with that, I will uh, hand it over to Natalia, who's going to talk about our community support efforts. Hello, everyone. It's <laughs> amazing to be here on, uh, on Wikimedia, and I've seen so many amazing faces already. I will be sharing my screen in a moment. And yeah, OK. So. Uh, I'm a volunteer support officer in Wikimedia Poland, and I will be talking about something that I'm super passionate about, which is the Wikimedia community, the community that creates the largest source of knowledge in the whole world and the whole history, probably. And in order for this community to grow and thrive, this community needs to be constantly capable of uh, inviting new people and new voices. And as a Wikimedia movement, we have come with a lot of ideas how to bring people into the movement. We have all those outreach activities like editatons and writing competitions and the educational project. But when the new people who we are successful in inviting join the movement, there are in many times difficult interactions between them and the existing community. Newcomers, newcomers feel that they come into the movement, they want to give something, but they are and many times treated harshly and unwelcomed and unsupported. And the question is why this amazing community with so much passion, sometimes so unsupportive uh, for the newcomers? And the answer is burnout. Burnout is a condition in which you have given something you care deeply about so much that you at the same time feel that you cannot give anymore and you feel the obligation to give more and more. And uh, burnout, <clears throat> people suffering from burnout suffer from emotional exhaustion. They lack uh, energy and motivation, and they are very easily stressed. And they feel, like in a Wikimedia con uh, context, that they cannot really give anything more. Also, they feel like the, they suffer from the personalization. So they lack empathy and kindness, and they really cannot support newcomers because they, they're burned out, they cannot give. They feel cynicism and in the end, they feel the reduced personal accomplishment, which in a context of Wikimedia um, kind of shows that they lack the feeling that they, can, um, that they can achieve this mission. And the whole 
uh, irony of burnout is that people who are at the highest risk of burning out are the people who care the most. So people who are really passionate about the mission, they start with a great enthusiasm and they engage so deeply that in the end, they become exhausted and cynical. And then they unwillingly harm the mission they so very much cared at the beginning. So I really feel that if we want to bring new people and if you really want them to join the movement, we need to put as much effort in protecting our existing community from burnout as we put in inviting people in. So I will share with you three strategies that Wikimedia Poland uses uh, to prevent burnout. And hopefully um, those strategies can be usable in your context. So the first one is super counterintuitive because it's Wikimedians need to do less. Because in our movement, we value productivity. We value engagement. We actually admire people who spend so much time uh, editing that they, have you heard this joke that uh, in Wikimedia context, I've heard it a lot, that sleep is for the week, we need to edit more. So yeah, sleep is not for the week, sleep is for everyone. So they edit a lot until sleep deprivation. They do so many volunteer hours for the affiliate that they don't rest, that the volunteering becomes a second job for them. And we sometimes forget that we are not only minds and editors, we are actual human beings who live in human bodies which need a sufficient amount of sleep, which need nurturing movement and joyful movement to reduce stress, which need rest and connection with other people. And uh, at some point we discovered that our volunteers give so much to Wikimedia Poland that they're at the risk of burnout. They want to give, we don't force them, but they take part in so many activities that's actually not serving them very well. So we opened a, a system that tracks volunteer engagement for Wikimedia Poland. We tracked how many hours people put into the project. We are using, we are using a tool called Salesforce, but actually you can use any tool to do that. A Google Doc would be just fine. The idea is to track how many a given person has engaged in activities and to see whether this person is not engaging too much and to react on that. And we put some of our volunteers onto volunteer breaks. So we don't invite them to, to uh, volunteer for our activities because we want them to rest. And at first we were afraid that those people will feel like they are rejected because they want to give to Wikimedia Poland and Wikimedia Poland is saying, hey, you gave so much, please take some rest and get back in, in a month and then engage. And actually the result is that when people feel like those, <laughs> those uh, Mm, rejections come from a place of care and kindness and it's, it's really about them and not about us they react very well on that so i really encourage you to track how many time your volunteer community is putting in and to sometimes say no to your best volunteers of course it means that some things won't happen some activities or some edits won't happen but in the long run it is so much more important to have those volunteers who are amazing and engaged for a longer time with us than to do a specific activity. Okay, but this was the uh, people who volunteered for the, for the chapter. And what can we do for the editing community? Certainly we cannot say <laughs> to the editing community that they should stop editing. Uh, so what we did is we invited Wikimedians for a mindfulness training. And mindfulness is great for two reasons. One of them is that uh, mindfulness is a great tool for stress reduction. So people get less tense. But the other thing is that mindfulness keeps us much more connected to how we feel at a given moment and how we are and what our body and our mind needs at the certain moments. So people who practice mindfulness are very much aware that um, they need to rest because they feel it in their body. They need to step down for a little bit. And we really hope that by giving um, this tool to Wikimedians, we keep them much, much more connected to their needs. Um, you can read much more about this mindfulness training on a diff blog post that we did, and then you can learn more how to bring mindfulness training to your context. Uh, 
I really encourage you to, <clears throat> if you don't want to have a tracking a system or you cannot do a mindfulness training to just be mindful about the people around you and uh, mm, respect their need to rest and support the need to rest and sometimes uh, react when you see that people are taking too much giving too much so this is the one thing that we are doing the other thing is recognition we are trying to bring more positive recognition into the media movement recognition is one of the universal human needs. We are born with it. We are born with a need for other people to acknowledge our existence. And it is so strong in us, then according to some uh, psychological theories, when people don't receive any recognition and they don't feel acknowledged as human beings, they start to act in a destructive way because negative recognition is in fact better than no recognition at all. And you can see it sometimes in the project that someone who was kind of constructive editor at some point starts misbehaving and breaking the rules and acting hostile. Maybe this is their way of being recognized because in Wikimedia movement, we have a lot of ways to show negative recognition. We criticize what's done wrong. We point out mistakes and react of misbehavior and we should be, but there are not enough um, ways to show positive recognition to people. So what we did, and especially in a way that we recognize them not for certain achievements, but for the very fact that they are a part of our movement. So what we did as Wikimedia Poland, we did a lot of things um, during the last two years. So uh, last year we started sending out those beautiful medals for people who are creating Wikipedia for 10, 5 or 15 years. I know that Wikimedia Germany is doing something similar and Wikimedia Austria and maybe Wikimedia Switzerland. So the German editing community also can get things like that. Just to acknowledge the fact that people have been a part of our movement for so long. The other thing is that we started sending out admin packages for the admins because um, admins are a group which is at a very high risk of burning out because they deal with many difficult situations. And also, if they made mistakes, those mistakes are very quickly recognized and criticized. And also, if admins burn out, the costs for the projects are quite high. So we sent out admin packages with a T-shirt saying, I'm an admin of Wikipedia, and with a calming tea. <laughs> and, uh, but what is most important, we sent out diplomas. This is my diploma. Uh, saying how many time this person has spent uh, in Wikipedia, counted in days, how many edits they made, and how much engaged this person is, and a handwritten card in which we wrote exactly why we value this person uh, as a part of our movement. And this, of course, if you feel like, okay, this is very nice, but we don't have financial resources to adapt those strategies in our context, you don't have to worry because, the, as I said, what was the most important was the personalized message attached to admin package. So what you need to do is to remember to say to people that you are happy that they are part of our movement through giving a bounce star or sending an email or contacting them in other way or leaving them a message on a talk page. But just to show those people that you see them and what they are doing. The third thing we are doing is bringing some more joy and fun into the Wikimedia. The, <laughs> the thing is that we, as a movement, are doing super important things. We are on this large mission of bringing knowledge to every person to the planet. We are now uh, like a very important player in a war against uh, fake news, which was very much seen in the pandemic. So we're doing all those serious and important things, but that doesn't really mean that we don't, that we shouldn't have fun while doing it. Fun actually is a way to, uh, it's great in um, building sense of connection and fun is also a great way to reduce stress. And as Wikimedia Poland, we are doing a lot, a lot of things to keep editing fun. Uh, for example, we are doing virtual races 
uh, of Wikipedia speedrunning where editors are racing who will reach, uh, who will go through from article A to article B, just jumping through the links the fastest. We're having trivia and meetings and so many more. But one thing I would like to tell you about are the Cascade Prizes, which we adapted uh, in the Sea Spring contest this year. Uh, sea Spring is a writing campaign uh, in which Wiki Wikimedians write about countries of and communities of Central and Eastern Europe. And it is held in many Wikipedias. And yeah, it's one of my favorite projects in the Wikiverse. So go help Sea Spring in your community. And this year we brought a bit of different kind of prizes to the contest. We wanted to try out the prizes which will not base on comp competing against each other, but which will show exactly what Wikipedia is. Wikipedia is um, creating, is going together to a shared goal and being important no matter how large your contribution is. If you write three articles, 40 or 300. And this is exact exactly the idea we wanted to adapt. So we created those prizes in which <clears throat> every time the number of articles right in the whole contest passed a certain goal, everyone who had written at least uh, three articles received a prize. So when the number of articles wrote in the policy spring passed 200, everyone received wiki gummy bears. And when the number passed 400, everyone received postcards. And when it passed, do I have it here? No, I don't have it. Okay, when the number passed uh, 1,000, everyone received a physical bond stars made of wood, which was super pretty. And it was very, and it was very Wikimedia because everyone was, like everyone was contributed, contributing to this shared goal and were rewarded for what they gave, no matter how big it is. It is a super, super Wikipedia thing, right? Every contribution counts and we are all doing something together. And it was fun. So the surprise was that when we reached 1000, it happened very quickly and the, and the competition was still on, and the campaign was still on, and we needed to start with uh, another, we needed to introduce another prize. So we introduced a surprise prize for 1100 articles, but the community passed this goal super quickly also. And we were out of a budget <laughs> and we need to introduce another prize, which turned out to be actually the most interesting for the participants, which was the community support team in Wikimedia Poland writing and performing a song about Sea Spring. And remember, like, Keep in mind that the community support team in Wikimedia Poland, especially me, is not very good at, at singing. Yes. So it was an, it was something, yeah, <laughs> it was interesting. And the community was uh, like, was very enthusiastic about the prize. They were, they were the most impatient about getting this one prize and more interested about it. So uh, what I want to say by, um, by saying this, it's not only that everyone can sing, good or bad, but also that you don't need to have a lot of money to do something that is fun and attractive. And also uh, things that are fun are super interesting. And so those were the three, those were the three strategies that we have in Wikimedia Poland. But what I would like to, uh, for you to remember, no matter if you adopt them or think of other strategies, or look for your own ways to uh, to address burnout is uh, the quote from my favorite book about burnout from Emily and Amelia Nagoski, burnout. The cure for burnout is not self-care. It is all of us caring for, our, for one another. So this is the most important thing that you can, that you should know. What we need to do, no matter how and in, no matter what way, is create an environment in which everyone will feel welcome and supported and cared in which we will actually be interested in how other people feel and how they are and react on that and acknowledge other people for what they do no matter how small it is and to just have this pure joy of editing.
and contributing and created a better world because hey this is a joyful thing creating a better a better world so if you're interested in uh, in burnout and uh, things that i said there are some resources already gathered which is one of them is the book of Emilia and Emilia Nagoski, Burnout, The Secret of to Unlocking the Stress Cycle, and the amazing book, The Resilience Workbook, and uh, my not so amazing, but so interesting blog post on this. And you can also contact me so that we can have a chat about burnout. So, thank you. Thanks, Natalia. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time within this session for uh, Q&A, but you can write all your questions and comments in the Etherpad, uh, and we will be sure to um, take a look and answer uh, after the, uh, the presentation. We will also be uh, present uh, in Remo uh, at one of the tables, uh, so you can find Natalia, Clara, and Wojciech, and myself uh, after uh, our talk, uh, if you want to chat and uh, learn more or uh, give us your experiences. Uh, so now that uh, we are uh, de-stressing and helping uh, our community with burnout, uh, hopefully it becomes more open and more welcoming to uh, new Wikimedians, including uh, young Wikimedians. And uh, Clara, who is uh, head of our education team, uh, is going to talk about that uh, a little bit more. Floor is yours, Clara. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm the Wikipedian since uh, 2015, not like Natalia and Łukasz. Uh, and in Wikimedia Poland, I am like almost two years as a uh, as a education specialist. And uh, I will try to share this um, my presentation now. Uh, so I can't say a lot about two years because I want to focus about um, last year, which was special specific because of the pandemic, of course. But also very much uh, th there were much uh, contribution from the previous years when I was involved in this uh, as a volunteer. Like Natalia was calling me, hey, can you go to the um, students at the biology uh, uni um, department and uh, say something about Wikipedia and so on and so on. So uh, I have unique uh, perspective, I think, because I used to be a partner in Wiki projects, a volunteer, and now I'm the, uh, the worker and the uh, author of educational strategy for Wikimedia Poland. And uh, some things I want to share with you is about how we try to invite uh, teachers and students to the Wikipedia, uh, taking care of them. Uh, because of course, everyone can join in this, in this very moment to, to the project and be also at the same time teacher or student. Uh, but we wanted to, um, after after talking to our support team, uh, we decided also to to take care about teachers as a groups, as a um, small teams or bigger uh, bigger groups, and uh, wanted to make them feel some kind of unschooling vibes, as I as I call it, um, because they are very connected with school. And in Poland, uh, it is very old type of uh, learning system. Um, I mean, mentally, uh, it is still uh, sometimes a fight to go out of the old uh, stereotypes of learning and teaching. Um, and uh, the teachers who are coming to our projects uh, very often are mm, very often are. Mm, are happy to join something that is different, that they can uh, be more uh, free. And that's what we are talking to them, that come on, join us. Uh, it is a free, safe space. We, you will have fun. Your students will like you. And they are coming. And they are, at first, very often surprised and don't know what to do. 
even we if we have first steps to Wikipedia, our animations, uh, instructional videos, and so on, and they have me, Natalia, and our educational team, they're still very lost. And uh, they are asking, is it really this freedom? Because at the very first moment I edited something, someone uh, deleted this, yes? Uh, I got a very harsh email. Of course, from our perspective, it's not harsh, it's just, just a very uh, strict message how to improve something. But this is, uh, for them, it's again connected to a typical school environment. Because, of course, we Wikipedians are also uh, with this um, um, uh, experience of all type of schools. And this is inside us. This is my, my um, I think that, that this is very, very um, important to remember this, to, to be aware of this, that we are after the same type of school as those teachers and it could be our teachers in the previous uh, months, years. So, uh, as Natalia has just said, uh, we um, we know what is to point, what is wrong. Uh, red lines be <laughs> below our sentence, delayed, and so on. And it's hard for the adults who are experts on their field. Uh, and in, uh, in, the, in the school, they are uh, someone important. And here, they are like their own students. Um, so we are trying to unschooling, uh, to, to make this like democratic schools on Montessori style or unschooling the learning and teaching, uh, and to, to create some dialogue and um, uh, to find guides, uh, guides for them. And uh, this is uh, the, the, the whole part that support team are uh, giving us this um, Viki um, trainers and Viki take cares, take cares <laughs> for our teachers. Uh, and for first, we are telling them a uh, few things. The first one that you will have access to knowledge, but different than from the uh, books that you use in schools on when you are preparing to be a teacher. Uh, of course, during the pandemic, most of them uh, are already uh, familiar with the um, um, technologies uh, in education and so on, but uh, still not to open resources, not to open educational resources. And then we can show them the beautiful uh, Glam Wiki resources and uh, Wikimedia Poland has a long list of our partners. We created a wiki school program uh, with the website that have not, it doesn't look like Wikipedia page, but then are they, there they can find uh, materials and um, resources, uh, video tutorials and so on. And they also put their own scenar uh, lessons, uh, lesson plans, which they created after uh, being with us uh, during the year. Uh, and talking about Wikipedia and how to use wiki tools, wiki um, knowledge uh, in the classroom. So now they can show that their lesson plans are on our website and the other teachers can use it. Um, of course, we are also training teachers on, you know, mostly online, uh, but the, the, also the, the writing campaigns uh, with teachers in the jury, in the jury. Uh, were interesting experience for us. Um, this is our uh, screens uh, after uh, um, virtual lessons on Wikipedia. Uh, I can say that the most important you can remember, uh, use a Minecraft uh, article or Among Us or something like that to show young people how to create Wikipedia. It's really draw attention and they they uh, they list, they are listening to you and they are asking questions and this is the most important for me that they are asking questions and trying to do something um, yes uh, we in this wiki school uh, program uh, there were many schools um, but uh, it was hard for them to create wiki projects but some of them uh, tried and uh, they successfully 
uh, created wiki projects with their teachers, uh, adding, uploading photos to Wikimedia Commons or uh, creating some small articles, even they were 12 years or, or old or 13 years old. So uh, yeah, they got uh, they got uh, um, gifts from for, from us at, for the uh, end of the school year. Uh, and the second uh, access to knowledge was first, and the second one uh, very important for uh, principals, for example, is motivation. And the job, job motivation we found this uh, for them is um, that you can improve uh, key competencies and uh, gather new skills. And there will be interesting way to gather new skills. And uh, you can put it in your uh, CV that you do, you made through our uh, training. And the second one, uh, important also for, um, for the parents and teachers and students, it's relations motivation. That uh, during the Wiki projects, when you will be involved in this with your, with your students, uh, you will create a different level of this dialogue, of this relation. Uh, this will be a situation that you will learn something from your technology advanced students, and uh, they will learn uh, that you can talk with them about uh, fact checking in Wikipedia uh, and about creation of articles, and they can go for a photo walk and upload to Wikimedia Commons some photos. Uh, along with with uh, her or she uh, or his uh, student group, and then you can be enjoying this together. Uh, and this, the third uh, one, yes, is recognition. Uh, this is the word we we have mentioned before, uh, but for teachers is very important uh, also uh, because what I uh, ha have just said that they are important in their schools. But not always. Sometimes they have, uh, they are very frustrated that they, the principals can't allow them to join some educational conferences, or the school is not funded properly. It's very common problem in Poland, uh, especially in the smaller towns, uh, but not only. And uh, when they come to us, uh, we can uh, show them to the world, and then uh, this local community. Uh, see them, see them uh, that, uh, wow, in our school, there is this teacher uh, who is cooperating with this um, big community, Wikimedians, uh, and um, we can we invited them to debate, debate uh, conferences. We asked them to uh, use uh, the nice words about Wikipedia in official uh, printable, uh, our brochures and so on and uh, campaigns. Uh, this is in Polish, but uh, really the, 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 the things that they are saying about Wikipedia, uh, not asked, really, they are just sending us these emails after meetings and even online, are so um, touching that uh, our fundraiser <laughs> and uh, also use, uh, uses this uh, to, to put it on the banners and uh, we put it in the, our brochures uh, because this is very inspira inspirational for other teachers to, te to read uh, some, that some, someone else from the, field, from the same field told something uh, that nice about Wikipedia, like breaking the stereotype of Wikipedia in school. Uh, yeah, we, we created also some personal, uh, personalized posts uh, about teachers in this uh, pilot program. Uh, but also any, any time we create some cooperation with uh, uh, another uh, NGOs um, uh, around with education, uh, we try to, you know, um, tag uh, these teachers and schools. And uh, the last uh, the last but the most important fun maybe uh, part is a fun and spa safe space. Uh, um, the fun uh, was very much planned uh, before the pandemic started and uh, it was very hard to, to put aside all fun summer camps and so on but now we are trying to, uh, to, uh, to make um, something else and uh, it turned out that it is 
possible even online to have fun and to talk and networking with the teachers and they love uh, networking because this is something that they they usually do in the school outside the school and during the pandemic they created a very a many many platforms and groups to to talk uh, about education and we also created such group on facebook but also we joined many of them to to know them better uh, and uh, this is uh, maybe th yeah this is the first time we met them um, they met this group um live a few days ago in warsaw uh, because all all 2020 and this part of 2021 we only contact with, we have only uh, been in contact we had uh, sorry we are only in contact uh, online and this was the first time that our board um, say okay this spontaneous idea maybe <laughs> will work clara and uh, we invited them to warsaw to national museum in warsaw which is our also glam wiki institution and uh, we have such fun uh, also eating uh, great decorative cakes and uh, during the design thinking workshop about open resources education in museum uh, which is our also pilot project to connect education with uh, glam wiki uh, so it was really fun to hug each other i i really felt like i know them uh, for years and then we uh, recognized no this is the first time we see each other in life uh, so that's uh, that's it uh, i can stop this to, to comment um, uh, to the uh, at the end something uh, i think i have still two minutes <laughs> okay one minute maybe so um, uh, it is important to say that we work uh, now we focused on the younger students uh, like uh, primary school and high schools but also we provide many things for um, for uh, college college students like from the universities uh, and it was before this program wiki school started uh, and uh, we were surprised but maybe not that they of course universities still want to do something with us so now we uh, we 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 are um, fighting this and planning and how to to make everyone happy uh, and, and uh, of course um, make it right and make the community from natalia uh, aware that there are different part of groups on a different level of editing and knowing our projects so and thank you all wikimedia affiliates uh, education if you are, you are here and listening because the cooperation with you uh, for me as a new person uh, was uh, amazing and uh, I learned a lot uh, from you so if there is a Silas or Florencia or someone from you from this community here uh, thank you very much okay that's all thanks Clara uh, I want to highlight just one thing uh, that to me is the most important bit of Clara's work um, in Poland, the Wikimedia community is getting older with every passing day. And we need uh, to get people excited, get young people excited about our mission in order for our movement to be renewed with every generation and keep going because this is unending work. And to perform this unending work and to achieve our mission, we need uh, new people, but we also need to know whether what we're doing is working or not. And Wojtek will uh, give a short presentation about being data-driven and actually uh, looking at the results of uh, some of our initiatives very closely. Wojtek, take it away. Thank you, Wakash. Um, I'm just going to try and share my screen with you or try to share the, uh, the relevant uh, page of my, of my browser. Lukasz, shout out to me if it works or not. Um, bang, bang, bang. Okay. 
Yeah, it's working. yeah, it works. It's working, guys. Um, I'm actually wearing my anti-burnout kit today because I'm wearing the T-shirt which says uh, "I'm a Wikipedia admin. What's your superpower?" And I was displaying it during an international dog show in the neighboring city of Sopot while taking photos with the use of the Wikimedia Posca's donated uh, telephoto lens. So this is Wikimedia Posca taking care of their volunteers. Um, it all started about two years ago. Uh, when uh, the the board, which I was then a part of, sat down and thought about our future, our strategy uh, for the coming years. One of uh, the things that we wanted to check uh, was we wanted to know, not feel, but know whether we're doing things right and whether we're doing the right things. Uh, one of the questions that kept popping up then and, and uh, which resulted in a project that we did was, do writing contests actually make sense in terms of do they bring decent quality content or do they just bring content which is you know off the template like banging 20 articles um about you know villages in the country or about pop singers of another country um at that time i was doing translation work for two cool academics uh from poland and we basically decided to bring them in, release the academics to tell us whether we're actually doing the right things or not. Um, these academics were uh, well, are Marta Szolugaromańska, uh, who holds uh, a research position at the Gdansk University of Technology, uh, and Anna Modzelewska, a PhD as well, uh, who's, uh, who's holding the, a position at the Jagiellonian University of Krakow, uh, but who's also the press uh, officer for the Warsaw University currently. Uh, Together with Natalia and together with a person who's not joined the presentation today, but who's our volunteer uh, statistician, we sat down and we, and we designed a qualitative study based on two focus group interviews um, to try and answer this question. Are um, the contest articles of decent quality, worse quality, or better quality uh, from the ones uh, that are created spontaneously. We focused on um, a narrow group of uh, articles. Those are women biographies of 2020, of, 2000, of the year 2020. And at the end, the results came in just a few days ago. The, the results of uh, the researchers uh, going through the two uh, focus group interviews, one of them was with Wikipedia editors, the other was with Wikipedia readers, because it's for the readers that we create our articles, isn't it? Uh, one thing about um, the report was quite surprising, the other not so much. The surprising thing was that we are actually doing the right thing by uh, creating editing contests. And it's not our feeling, it's not our gut feeling that we're doing the right thing, it's what the academics told us. Yes, the quality of articles from writing contests is slightly higher than that of articles created spontaneously, at least in the women's biography category. The other thing was not that much surprising. A few more questions popped up and a few more research projects were born on the same day that I read uh, the report from, uh, from the focus studies that, uh, that was sent to us. So uh, I'm quite sure that you will be able to read about our, um, our research uh, when it gets published. And I'm quite sure that we will be doing more. And uh, I've, I've just probably I've got 30 seconds or so. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you quickly about another uh, project that we're doing together with uh, Mark Michel, Christian Consoni, David Laniado, and of course the indispensable Natalia and uh, Katarzyna. Um, we want to know more about our community. We want to know if the advanced community uh, stays, is, is staying with us or if it's diminishing or if it's growing and what other, um, what other things we can learn from the stratification of uh, the experience of our community of editors. So uh, we want to know more and we will be learning more.
Uh, that's the end of uh, my quick talk. Thank you very much for joining in, and I'll hand it back to Wukash. Thanks, Wojtek. Uh, this was obviously a preview. As Wojtek said, we just got the results a couple of days ago, so more on that to come. Uh, thank you all for, for listening. Uh, have a great day and a wonderful Wikimania. Bye.